Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be half vlog, half organising my whole house. <laughs> So today you might be wondering why I've got sunglasses on my head. I'm just about to go out to my cousin's baby shower. We're having like afternoon tea vibes and it's her first baby shower, her first baby, her first pregnancy and everything. So it's really exciting and it should be a lovely afternoon with lots of like baby shower games and cakes and sandwiches. So yeah, really looking forward to that. And then when I get home, I'm going to be starting my afternoon afternoon tea no I'm not I'm having my afternoon tea in a minute but when I get home I'm going to be starting my organize my house and showing you how I organize certain cupboards and things in my house and I'm also going to be sorting out my kitchen and my under the sink cupboard and like my pull out cupboard and yeah I've got loads of new jars loads of labels that my dad made me yeah that will be coming after the baby shower I might vlog a little bit of the baby shower if it looks like really cute and things and then I'll be coming home and sorting out my whole house I love anything like organization. I love like pantry organization, laundry room organization, utility room. I just love it. It pleases me so much. So I'm so excited to film this video and have a really organized kitchen, utility, airing cupboard, the lot. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video and I will catch up with you in a little bit. just got back from Ellie's baby shower it was really lovely it was at a cafe called Mad Hatter's in Longton it's really pretty inside like pink everything flowers and like cute little teacups and saucers and like teapots it's definitely my vibe really pretty very florally vibe so yeah it was a lovely afternoon I've got back earlier than I thought I would actually so now I'm going to start doing my kitchen slash utility slash laundry room organization video. I've got the same top on as you can see but I've taken my jewellery off and I've just changed into my Abercrombie joggers just so I'm comfy because sometimes like when I'm when I come on to film hauls and stuff I get into like a fancy outfit and sometimes like I just want to be comfy in my house so I've got the same top on I've got my necklace on still taken off my rings and my earrings and changed into the really comfy Abercrombie joggers instead. So in this video I am working with a couple of brands which is super exciting and the first one is Eden and Willow which is a company online that have like storage solutions down to a T. They have every single size of glass jar with bamboo lids that you could ever imagine for a really really affordable price as well. I was so shocked when I saw the prices they were so affordable for like a really gorgeous classic bamboo style glass jar. I'll get them all out and show you them when I unbox them. So I'm so excited to be working with them on this organisation video and I just feel like you're going to love all the jars and different sizes and you can pop different things in different jars. Oh, it just gets me so excited. So what I'm going to do is go and get the jars from the hall. They're all stacked up in the hall and they have been for weeks just because it's been a bit manic. I've been to Barcelona and then other things have gone on so yeah they've been stacked in the hall for ages but I'm going to bring them into here unbox them all and share like the different sizes and everything with you so here they all are if you can't see them already and I'll just quickly share with you like how they come so they come in their own individual box like this and then they are wrapped in bubble wrap so they all arrive really safely none of them cracked or smashed or anything so I'm going to do a little time lapse and open all the jars little jars, a few taller ones, shorter ones and then even shorter ones and then a really big big one and then another like wide one 
Um, I'm thinking these ones for under the sink, but we'll see. And then they also sent over some little scoops as well, a few like darker orangey colour ones and then a few of the lighter coloured wood as well. So they're so sweet. So I guess I best now decide what's going in which jar and get the labels on. I'm not showing you the labels yet. I'm so excited to show you the labels. So here are the labels that my dad actually printed for me. I might be able to see a few close-ups here. I don't know if it's focusing on camera or not. But basically I designed them myself on Canva and saved them as like a really high quality image and then sent them over to my dad who printed them at his work. Just really wanted a simplistic label. So I've just gone for like a really simple font. I think I use this font in my YouTube thumbnails. But then at the bottom, I don't know if it's focusing, but I've got Florally Ho. So like no one else in the world has these labels except me because obviously they say Florally Home on them But I just thought they were really like unique and special and just you know since I've got the Instagram and the YouTube and everything But yeah, I just really loved the cute personal touch. No one else has got Florally Home on their labels So I don't know. I just like to be extra all the time even with my labels. Oops Let's hope I don't smash any of these jars today in the video because that could be disastrous so what I think I'm going to do first is sort out the big pulley cupboard, which isn't too bad. I just would like it to be a little bit more organised. But first, I'll just talk about our spice jars. <gasps> How satisfying is this? What, what I need, though, is I need one of those, like, tiered um, stacking things to put all the spices on. So then you've got, like, some like that and then some higher up, you know, just so you can see all the labels. But these spice jars, including the labels, were from one of my favourite small businesses ever, Paper and Ink, who literally is organisation goals. Kasha and her shop are just amazing. So, you know, partly this video is inspired by Kasha at Paper and Ink because her organisation and everything she stocks is just amazing. So, shout out to Kasha because she is fabulous. But for Jake's birthday, and partly because I wanted them as well, I got all of these spice jars from Kasha at Paper and Ink and some are just down there as well. And these are the little square ones and they have a different label on and how gorgeous are the labels. I'll just get one out to show you. So they say paper and ink collection at the top. I love her little like, line design on there as well with the measurements. And each one has a different name, obviously, because they're all different spices. So yeah, I feel like that is so aesthetically pleasing. Really love that shelf. This shelf I want as my pasta shelf. So I've just gone and got all the pasta out. Some pasta we might not have, so we'll just see what I can fill up. And uh, oops, we're very overexposed there. Let me turn you down. So yeah, the pasta is gonna go in the tall jars. But yeah, the pasta is gonna go on this middle shelf and it's gonna have to have a little change around. That might just have to stay like that for now. And cereals, I am wanting to get like some wider, taller, like clip and clock, what's it called? Clip and seal, I don't know, things for our cereal and I have labels for them as well, but I can only do so much in one day and in one video, so we'll just get started. I know I'm like crouched in the worst angle ever, but ah, I love them so much. Uh, I just think they are amazing and I've only filled up four jars. These are the tallest ones from Eden and Willow, I think. Where are they? 
I don't know, I've got all the links and stuff in my email, so in the description box I will link exactly which jar I've used for which food and like which ingredient because that's the thing I was struggling with. I had my tape measure out and I was like measuring the cupboards and measuring the shelves and I was like I don't know which ones to go for for different types of food and ingredients and things so hopefully that will help a lot of you out if I do that in the description box but ah, I just love them so much. I haven't got any of the, I haven't got any noodles. I'm just looking at the labels that I've got yet to put on. So we've got risotto rice and rice. I think we've got rice, so I'll pop the rice in a jar, but I'll need to go out and get some risotto rice. I'll also need to go and get some farfalle, I think that's how you pronounce it, farfalle pasta, the ones that look like little like napkins. I also need to go out and get some noodles and I need to get some other things as well, like some cleaning products. So I'll do what I can, then I'll go to the shops and I'll fill everything up and then I'll do like a grand tour at the end probably. <laughs> Here they all are. Well, the ones that are going in the pulley out cupboard. Well, in fact, some of those might be going in the pulley out cupboard, but I guess these are all like the savory kind of things, like the rice and the noodles. As you can see, I need some more spaghetti, I need some more rice, I need some risotto rice to put in there. I also need to go and get the farfalle pasta and the noodles as well. So I'm gonna nip to the shop later on and fill those up, but I just love how they look so, so much. Let me just give you a zoom in. And I just love how they say florally home on them. Like that just pleases me so, so much how they say florally home on them. <laughs> I'm so sad and so extra, but I don't even care. <laughs> So now I'm going to move on to all the baking ingredients, not like I'm an avid baker or anything but it's just nice to have all your baking ingredients sorted out. I may need to buy a few extra baking ingredients as well like brown sugar and things, I don't know if I've got any. So I've got all these different size jars again from Eden and Willow, it's so good how they come in different sizes like you may not necessarily need a huge jar for just like baking powder or like cocoa powder so it's good that you can choose different sizes depending on which ingredients or which food and stuff that you want to put in there. I'll prop you up again and start putting in the baking ingredients. Sorry for the angle by the way, I'm holding up like my huge tripod and it's killing my arm. What I was going to say is putting the labels on is proving to be a really like challenging job. I'm so like particular and like I love everything to be symmetrical and I'll like even with my Instagram feed if the colouring is off a little bit on my preview app I'll edit the whole thing again like I'm so particular with things like that so yeah I, I need everything to be lined up properly and if it's not it will really mess with me so I'm being really careful when putting the labels on and hopefully they're all straight. <laughs>
the bacon ingredients are done. I love them so much. Obviously I need some self-raising flour, so I'll get that from the shops when I go later. Plain flour and caster sugar are looking nice and full, as are brown sugar and icing sugar. Baking powder you might have seen I put by carbonate of soda in because they're basically the same thing, like they do the same job, so I hope that's okay. Um, and cocoa powder I need some more of as well. But I really love how they look, they're going to go, they used to be in my cupboard up there, please excuse the mess, but I think I'm going to put them in there for like more of an aesthetically pleasing looking cupboard. So yeah, very exciting, I've got my baking ingredients there, I've got all my pasta and savoury things there, the kitchen is a mess because it's a messy kind of job, isn't it? So what I might do is go to the shop and see what else I can get and then catch up with you all in a bit. So I've just got back from Sainsbury's and got a few of the bits that I had run out of. So I'm gonna fill those jars up now and then may get started on the under the sink cupboard. finished containers with all like the foodie items in. I've got two more that I'm going to pop underneath the sink but here are all the ones for the pull-out cupboard and I'm just obsessed. I cannot believe that I've finally like organized my kitchen like this. I've been swooning over people's pantries on Instagram for like months and months. Also you may have noticed when I went shopping I actually got some proper baking powder and there's a bicarbonate of soda in there so I'll have to find a little lid for that. But yeah, I'm just in love. I love how it looks. I love how all of the ingredients are beige and neutrals as well, <laughs> just to add to the neutral theme. So I'm gonna get them in the pull-out cupboard and try and organize it. It's getting quite late now, it's getting to like 7 o'clock at night and the light's going a bit funny and if I put the spotlights on I get like weird lies on my camera so I'm going to stop and do the under the sink cupboard tomorrow morning and I'll also show you the utility cupboard like how I store my like washing powder and scent boosters and things like that and I'll also show you my airing cupboard tomorrow as well. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow and show you the rest of the organisation but for you it will be in a few seconds. Hey everyone, it's day two of house organisation. We did the pulling out cupboard yesterday, got all like the food and ingredients in the jars. I don't know if it was a bit dark when I was filming the last bits of it yesterday so I may like show you again today and also today I'm going to sort out the under the sink cupboard make it all nice and organised and I'm also going to show you my utility cupboard 
and also the laundry cupboard, how I organise that as well because that satisfies me so much. So yeah, let's get started with the under the sink cupboard. So I'm sat on the kitchen floor by the under the sink cupboard, I'll open it in a second and start like doing some organising, but first I wanted to show you a haul from a company called Cherries. Lots of you will have heard of Cherries before, but essentially it's ordering your food or essentials or any other bits that you want online and then it just gets delivered to you it's so so easy i've got like loads of cleaning bits here and some other baskety bits to show you in a second but it was just so easy to just click the things add them to your basket and it just gets delivered like we we do that with clothes and accessories and amazon bits but you never really think to do it with household bits and food well i don't anyway and the things that are on the cherries website and they also have an app as well they are so affordable so cheap so it's like you're getting really good bargains it's like going to b&m you know when things are a little bit cheaper and like home bargains same with cherries they've got some really really good deals and discounts on there and i'm just checking my emails and i also have a 25 percent off discount code off your first order so if you wanted to like stock up on cleaning products you know when it gets to that time of the I don't know, every couple of months you need to like restock and buy all your laundry pods and your scent boosters and things. If it's getting to that time of the year for you, then you can get them all on cherries and get 25% off them with the code florally25. So I'll show you what Cherry sent over and then get into organising the under the sink cupboard. So first they sent over these baskets, which I love so much. They're like seagrass baskets, and they're actually from Sass and Belle on the label. And I love Sass and Belle, I think it's a really cute brand. So I envision these to be in the under the sink cupboard, organising all my bottles and things. I don't know if I'll need four, I'll see when I start organising, but I may move two of them to the laundry room, air and cupboard, bathrooms, we'll see. But how cute are they? They're a really lovely size, perfect to hold, maybe like even six bottles perhaps and they're really wipeable as well because they're just made of that plasticky seagrass material and yeah i really like them obviously they're very my vibe neutral modern farmhouse kind of aesthetic but also really good for organization as well so it's a win-win there really then i also got a bottle of orange flavored fairy liquid i love citrus scents lemon orange i love it so when i saw that they stocked the orange one on cherries i was like i need to add that to my basket so let's give it a smell yeah, it smells so nice. It just smells like really like summery and like orangey fresh. That's not me. I'm not really describing it in a very good way, but you all know what orange smells like, and I feel like it's just a really good fresh scent to wash your dishes with. They also sent over a pack of these ceiling clips, grey, white, and pink, really cute colours, and they're just handy to have in, aren't they? If you want to seal up any like pasta or I don't know any packets that you've opened and you've not used everything yet, they're just handy to have in, aren't they? I also got a pack of laundry pods, the bold ones, and it says that they will do 57 washes, which is perfect, XXL pack, which we love. So I'll be popping these in my jar in the laundry room in, in the other part of the video, so stay tuned for that. And sticking with the laundry theme, I also got some gold orchid, Lenore gold orchid scent stuff. I love this scent so much, it smells so nice. So I got the Lenore fabric softener, which I love, I use it every time, and I also got a couple of these scent boosters as well. Yeah, I love those things from Lenore, I use them every time, my washing always smells amazing, and I just love doing the washing for some reason, I love like, I don't know if it's because I've got really good organisation in there already, but I just love getting the scent boosters out and getting the pods out. I don't know. It's one of those jobs that I actually don't mind doing. <laughs> so a big thank you to Cherries for sending over all of those fabulous essentials. And don't forget to make use of the 25% off discount code where you can stock up on all of your cleaning bits or any of the home bits that you want. Even food. They have snacks and things on there as well. It's going to be florally 25 for 25% 25 off your first order. So I've not got tons of jars to go under the sink, but I do have these wide jars left from Eden and Willow. These were so affordable, honestly, for a wide jar like this. Sometimes I see them and they're a little bit pricey, like in the supermarkets, but these were so affordable for a big wide jar like this. So definitely go and check out the link in the description box below where I link these wide jars because you will be very pleased with the price. So I've got these two sizes and I just don't know which ones to use for dishwasher tablets. Maybe I'm tempted to use the bigger one. Shall we fill one of them up to see? I've got about a quarter of the bag left. I normally like there's tons in there, isn't there? It lasts you absolutely ages. So I'm tempted to use the bigger one, but let's let's fill it up and see like how far it goes up and then I'll decide. <laughs> okay. 
So yeah, I think I'll definitely go for the larger jar out of the two for the dishwasher tablets. Like I said, I only had about a quarter of the pack left and it's filled it up quite nicely. So I, I imagine a full pack would fill it up to the top really nicely. So let's get the sticker on it. That's my favorite part. Here are all the under the sink like bottles and jars that I'm going to have. I still have a few labels left. Sorry if it's very bright. Try and turn you down. So I've got multi-purpose, which is a little bit like flash spray really, isn't it? So maybe I don't really need that label. Bleach, my mum told me not to put bleach into one of these bottles, so I don't know, I probably will listen to it because mums always know best, don't they? Um, and then I was going to buy a pink stuff spray to put in a spray bottle. I need to get another one of these spray bottles from Oliverwood Interiors to pop some pink stuff spray in. So I'll keep that for future and then I also need another spray bottle for glass cleaner as well. So I'll need two more spray bottles for those and possibly a multi-purpose for like a bathroom or something. But then I've also got another pump bottle here. You can see I popped the sif into a pump bottle because it's kind of like a cream so it lends itself well to a pump bottle. But I've also got this pump bottle left. These two unlabeled pump bottles were from Namey Home over on Instagram. They do lots of lovely organisation things as well. So if you've got any ideas for what I can pop in this pump bottle to go under the sink or even in like the utility or a bathroom, then then let me know because I hate for it to go to waste. And then here you can see I've got my Zaflora spray and I've also got my dish soap and hand soap from Paper and Ink. I bought these from Paper and Ink a while ago. The actual bottles and the labels come together and I think they are so gorgeous. And you can kind of see where I've got the inspiration for the other things. So like I mentioned earlier on in the video, definitely inspired by Kasha and her shop to completely organise my whole house. And naturally I needed the font to match. If you know what I mean, obviously I don't want to like take credit for, you know, any of these labels. I am completely inspired by Kasha at Paper and Ink. But you kind of get what I'm saying where I didn't want the two fonts to be completely different and look like odd under the sink or on display or anything so I kind of went with a simplistic font again for the labels that I designed on Canva that my dad printed for me. So yeah, really, really happy with how they all look. This little spray bottle is from Olive and Wood Interiors. I've got my flash in there and then my jar of dishwasher tablets as well and then I've got an empty jar. So now I'm going to get organised under the sink. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is take everything out, give it a clean and organized so I may pop you on a little time lapse because you don't really want to see me taking everything out and cleaning for minutes and minutes so I'll pop you on a time lapse and then see where we get up to.
so here it is the new under the sink cupboard obviously it's not perfect and like these brightly colored bottles are just so not a vibe but there's only so much I can put in the amber glass bottles but I really love how this side looks I decided to put little food bags in the other wide jar from Eden and Willow so I need to get my dad to print me a little sticker that says food bags I think that works really well and then inside my baskets from cherries I've just got all my amber glass cleaning products I love how it looks got bin bags at the back of there and then I've just hidden like non aesthetically pleasing things at the back and then in my front little basket I've got all my sponges that I use on a regular basis in there or like ones that aren't in the sink like yet to be used so yeah I really really love how it looks and then if we just open the door how much better does that look in there so so organized I love it by the way I don't know what all these like weird wires are these like gray wires are just I don't know, I daren't move them in case I like cause a leak or something, but they are really killing the vibe. But thank goodness for pretty storage and organisation. <laughs> and then I thought I would just show this as well, lots of you have seen this before, in fact, probably all of you have seen this before, but this is where I keep my little dish soap and my hand soap from Paper and Ink. It just stays on this little stand by the sink from, I think it was from TK Maxx. My soap, you've all seen before, from Habitual Home, and my little bristle brush as well on there for aesthetic purposes only. <laughs> Moving on to the utility room, I've got all the things behind me. Apologies for the lighting in here, I know it's not the best, but there's no windows or anything in here, so it's just like the spotlight, so yeah, apologies for that. But I'm going to show you how I organise all my laundry stuff, so as you can see, in fact I'll flip you around because then I'm not I'm knocking things over. So as you can see, I've got very empty jars here. I am due a restock, like, so much. That's why I've got all my things here. But here is where I keep all my laundry stuff. And I really like it because you can just shut the cupboard and it hides it all. And it's so near all, like, my washer and my dryer and things like that. So, yeah, it's in a really handy place. And I can still have, like, pretty things on top. So I'm going to fill up all of the jars with my bits from cherries and other bits that I've bought and I'm also going to get some of my little scoops from Eden and Willow to put in with the laundry powder. I'm so annoyed I didn't buy any new laundry powder so that will just have to stay like that for now but I'm going to put a little scoop in there, a scoop with the scent boosters and I probably don't need a scoop with those too. By the way you may have seen from the label that these gorgeous jars and labels are from Cash's shop at Paper and Ink. Honestly, just amazing. If you don't already follow Kasha on her Instagram at Paper and Ink Company, then you definitely need to because, honestly, organisation goal. sort and organize all my laundry stuff I honestly feel so good when everything's stocked up to the top again it just makes me feel so happy inside so I've got my fabric conditioner there from Lenore Gold Orchid then I've got my laundry pads tumble dryer sheets which I pop in the tumble dryer and it just makes the clothes a little bit softer and smell really really nice scent boosters which I cannot live without and then I've got my laundry powder which I tend to fill it up with like white laundry powder to put in like with white bedding and white 
cloves and stuff like that so I need to get some more of that next time I'm at the shop or I might get it from Cherries and use my own discount code. Okay so I feel like this video is going to be really long now. I've done the pulley out cupboard, all the ingredients, I've done the under the sink cupboard, I've done the laundry room cupboard and I said I was going to do the airing cupboard as well but I don't want to have this video like super long and also I've got a new laundry basket on the way from an exciting company that I've worked with in the past baskets company I've worked with in the past you may be able to guess who it's from but I'm so excited for that to come so I feel like I don't want to do the like grand reveal of the airing cupboard before that arrives so I may save that for a different video and maybe like do more of like an upstairs tour like a house tour I know lots of you have been asking for a house tour on Instagram as like when I when I like ask for video ideas lots of you have been asking for a house tour so maybe that video will come soon but yeah I thought I would end the video here because I feel like I've shown quite a lot of ways in which I organize things different covers of my house so I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I organize everything please let me know down below what you thought of the video I really enjoyed filming this video it took longer to film than just like an average haul video or like a styling video but hopefully it was worth it and hopefully Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all the links that I've linked down below in the description box and don't forget to make use of my discount codes as well. Florally 15 for 15% off Eden and Willow and Florally 25 for 25% off your first order from Cherries. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye! video.